Hello, in this video I'm going to take a rather belated look at the Ten Shadow D51282. This model has been out quite a while now and it's actually getting quite difficult to get hold of. By the time it came out, it was a quantum leap forward in the appearance and running of Z gauge locomotives. Built between 1936 and 1951, no less than 1,115 examples were built, with a remarkable 170 preserved, some in working order. Examples were also found in Russia and Taiwan. Some of the Russian ones still exist on the Sakhalin Islands. The Ten Shadow model brought a new way of doing things to Z gauge, with a tender mounted coilless motor driving through a carbon shaft through to the locomotive and a tungsten boiler weight to give it some traction and full working valve gear. Comes packaged in the standard Ten Sodo hard case with internal packing with little pressure points to hold it steady and safe while it's in transit. And of course these boxes are standard for both the coaches and wagons as well so they're very easily stackable when they're in store. The model also represents three of the main variants of the locomotive. The early version with the streamlining casing on top that were nicknamed the slug form. The Takatori ventilation system which was in addition to the top of the smokestack. And the standard form. At the front of the loco, as supplied, there's a standard sort of dummy buckeye coupling. This can be interchanged for a working rapido type coupling, allowing you to double head or run tender first. Also seen here are the separately applied number plates. These usually need retaining with a tiny drop of super glue just to hold them in place, but do give you the chance to model different representatives of the class. Performance is very smooth. We'll see a couple of examples on the test track before letting them loose out on Republic. Both forward and reverse. There's a tendency sometimes when it's got a fair bit of load on for the tender to wobble about a bit because obviously that's where the motor is. But it doesn't detract from the running when you see it at the show.
When these first came out, they were going for about $110 in America. Remarkable value for money for what you actually got with 10 Shadows legendary build quality and running quality. As I say, I've got three of these things. They are getting hard to find now, but all in all, very, very nice locomotive. And it was a progenitor of the later AZL Mikados, which used the same technology from 10 Shadow with a tender drive, carding shaft drive through to the loco.